Logan Malachuk, 5'11", 185-pound quarterback. They run one in motion, clean pocket for Malachuk right down the middle. Perfectly thrown, partner. Walker just dropped it. Yeah, you got the feeling that maybe that should have been caught. He was covered. Tall receiver right in his hands. Well, but you know what that does say? Run that play again. I mean, okay, so he didn't catch that one. You know, don't wait too long before you run that play again. That was like 30 yards downfield right in his hands. It's a frozen rope. Nice play. Just didn't work that time. So it'll be second and 11, ball at the 24 with 2.19 to go. Clean pocket for Malachuk. Wide open. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, boy, do we have to put super, super glue on these gloves. Ugh, he James Penley, you're killing me. Yeah, he was guarded by Cam Williams. Um, anyway, th the ball was thrown just a little bit behind him, a little bit downfield. They he was catch open. That football. Well, it was behind him a bit, and he had some zip to it. So I, I like the fact that, that um, Malachuk had some zip on it. So third and 11, you throw this into the end zone somewhere, it would be what I would do. Yeah. Make sure that only your receiver can catch it, cannot afford interception here. Well, you'd be giving up a potential three-point field goal if it is in incomplete. Right, if it's intercepted, you don't get yeah, any right, points. Right, right. Gotta, gotta so, give your kicker a chance. So I'm gonna throw a jump ball to Walker anyway, even though you don't want it intercepted. I'm gonna let my athletes win. I would do a fade route where only your receiver can get it. Clean pocket for Malachuk. Right down the middle, dropped again, my goodness. Now that wasn't a perfect ball, partner, but it was still on target. Yeah, part of me says uh, when he was diving, the defender dove at the same time and upset the, you know, the opportunity right. to catch it. But, so. did, but did he tug at the knee of the wide receiver? If he did, it's pass interference. If he's going for the ball, it's a clean play. Yeah, it was just close, close. Now, what I what would I do? Kick a field goal or go for it again? I would definitely go for it, but I don't know Fowler's boot. They are going for it. I don't I see a field goal kicker. This. Take the points, give your offense some confidence, give your defense some confidence. I don't know, I kind of like the offensive mindedness here. They roll, roll out right. to the right, Malachuk to the end zone. It's short. Dropped it again. I, I don't know what else to say, partner. They, it's right on target with these passes. That's four drops now. Yeah, I don't know if I'd say that's exactly on target when you got to dive like that. But I'm thinking, was that enough for the first down? Yeah, I, I think I, it was. Uh, okay. Both teams have gotten close to the end zone, especially Nazareth, but no cigar yet for either squad. Three down linemen for Nazareth. They've been just deadly. Clean pocket for Champagne. Looks downfield, wide open man, that's Williams. That time it's caught. That wasn't a perfect ball either, but Williams, the Notre Dame recruit with a nice catch. He was wide open and a perfect throw. I mean, what more can you say on that, you know? Uh, Champagne, also a very, very talented quarterback has his weapon, Cam Williams, on, on the other end of that th long throw. And he had all day to throw it. Field goal coming up. So they took the time out to, to make the decision to go for the three, as opposed to go for it on fourth down. Garbett, looking to make it a three-point game. Good snap, the hold is there, the kick, wide left. After all that, Robert, it is zero to zero. So a missed field goal on that side, a fourth down on that side. Three wide receivers set, one in the backfield. Hand off. A lot of running room. A lot of running room. Made a man miss right down the sideline. And it might be a horse collar still on his feet. Inside the 10, what a run that time by Nazareth's Academy, Charles Calhoun. I mean, it looked like a, a couple of you know, flaws on that tackle. You know, it hit him in the head, the face mask penalty could have come out, you said a horse collar. And I like this, they're going right at him with no huddle. So you don't have any time to substitute. Whatever your defense was, it is. Now thing is, it's third and one. I'm still confident, and I'm sure Nazareth is too, that they can run it in on two plays. If it were me, I'd run off tackle. I'd also probably run out of the eye here, but it, that's not something that looks like Nazareth yeah. works. They run spread. Not There's yeah. just not a lot of eye formation confidence when you run spread the entire game. Yeah, they're going up the middle. That time he got yeah. in. Yeah, you can touchdown tell that, for Lesroy Tittle. Yeah, you can tell that there's a tight end right there in the middle of his next extra blocker. But that's a big touchdown to take an early lead in the middle of the second half, second quarter. I mean, touchdown for Tittle. 
Yeah, that's what scores here. 14 nothing could feel like 21 to nothing. I want to see him run that play again. Malachuk makes the pass. Wide open. Still on his feet, right down the middle. Eyes the goal line. Touchdown, Malachuk. Touchdown, Nazareth. 13 nothing. What else can you say? Beautiful pump fake by Malachuk. He froze the defense and Malachuk did the rest. Well, I think what Gumbard South has to look at for changing or adjusting for the second half is gonna be, they're gonna have to put a safety back there. No more timeouts for Nazareth, so you gotta spike it going forward. Yeah, you gotta be careful, no completions over the middle, you just don't have enough time. Another clean pocket for Malachuk. Wide open! That's a first down, so it stops the clock briefly. They get to the first down marker and they're gonna have to spike it. Well, or have a play called out of this. I wouldn't risk it, just right. throw it into the end zone here. Jump ball to Taylor, to, to Walker. Rolls over to the right, does Malachuk. Malachuk to the end zone! He got it. Caught! Touchdown, Kistone! He makes up for that drop earlier. It's 20 to nothing, number seven, Jake Kistone, the six foot, 165 pound wide receiver. Glenbart South in a whole heap of trouble right now. They got to stop him from scoring. Handoff to Fumble. Caloni. Fumbled. Ball no. loose. Raiders get it back. Well, I, we hadn't been talking about turnovers, right? That's another way to get the, the game to go your way, right? So you're down three scores, cause the fumble. You're about to give up a fourth score. The, the fourth score isn't going to happen. You get the ball back. And by the way, this score could be worse. There have been drop passes by the Roadrunners. In the pocket is Champagne. He's gonna run with it. The 4.52 40 yard dash quarterback. And he's inside the 10 yard line. Well, partner, he hasn't done a lot throwing the ball, but that's what he can do. He can also run with it. Remember, the field goal really doesn't do them any good. So they're gonna have to probably go for it on fourth and goal. First and goal at the nine. Fumble. Now he fumbled. Ball and on the Nazareth. Turf. Oh my. Nazareth got it. Dominic Chiarmonte. Actually, no, it was Jake Peakney who's credited with the recovery. And the mistake by Clark Parham. He got to fall on that ball right away. Second and 10 at their own 25. Rolls outside the pocket. Champagne looks downfield. Look at this throw, right on target. And the Raiders are arguing he got thrown out of bounds, which would be a 15 yard penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct. The refs say it was clean. It was completed to Anthony Colby. And Champagne with a nice throw right on target. I thought he had a wide open receiver on the far side, and I thought he should have thrown it initially. It was one on one. The, the, the receiver was behind the defender, but he ran all the way back to this side. It's third and eight, Bob. You'd like to get at least five yards to feel more confident about going for it. Well, confidence is good, but you know the bottom line: they need eight yards. They're going to go two downs to get it. Over the middle, and it was dropped by High's eye. It was a little high. Field goal doesn't well, really help you. I think you got to go for yeah, it. Yeah, I think you're a little bit hard on the receivers at the other end for Nazareth. I mean, that did hit him in the arms right here. Maybe he should have been caught. Haizai also isn't a wide receiver. He's a fullback on the depth chart. When your fullback drops, you don't, you don't feel as bad. It's down to one play here. Champagne in the pocket. Intercepted. Picked off. He's got room to run. It was picked off that time by Fowski. Fowski down the middle. Fowski at the 40. Fowski near the 30. Another game changing play by this Nazareth defense. Third and seven. Remember earlier in the game, they had a chance for a field goal. They had fourth and 11 at the 14 and they decided not to kick. Now they have third and seven at the 30, but a field goal would make it basically a four possession lead. Well, yeah. I mean, any points now is deadly for Glenbard South. Wide open, pitch and catch, and more yards after catch. Touchdown, Walker! Excellent completion, that time to Walker. Not very good tackling by the Raiders. Well, yeah, boys after high school grow, um, 
you know, taller sometimes while they're in college. Right, you're still a teenager. Yeah. Your freshman year of high school. Fourth and 11 at their own 34. Glen Bar South's last chance. Sacked. S somehow so apropos. It's going to be credited to Luke Holstrom. I see why they didn't punt it, but now you're giving the ball back to Nazareth at your, you know, what, 30 yard line ish, 25 yard line, something like that. So Nazareth, you know, they're not going to just fall on the ball. They're going to try and, you know, stick another touchdown in there. Gabe Kaminsky credited with the sack, not Luke Holmstrom. First and 10 at the eight. Handoff off the left side. Calhoun dies for the pylon. He's in. Touchdown, Calhoun. Touchdown, Roadrunners. 34 nil. Amazing. Just absolutely amazing. So it'll be very interesting to see how Nazareth performs next week when they can beat Giants, Prairie, Prairie Ridge, and now Glenbard South, next week's opponent. Boy, it should be afraid of Nazareth. You were saying about Well, I don't think they'll kick the field goal either. I feel like that's kind of rubbing it in, in a sense, right? But if they run it in, well, you know, you got to stop me. But they're not going to take a knee either. Good job by Donato. Close to get it. in. Touchdown, Donato. It's got to be exciting for him. Make it 42 to nothing after this extra point. And so that will start the running clock. An absolute beatdown by Nazareth against Glenbard South on their home field.